Welcome back. Getting underway here in the Queensland State Netball League Grand Final for 2011. Cougars, Wildcats, Cougars have the ball. Wildcats have the ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right, Paul. I'm, all this red out there is absolutely throwing me. Cougars are going to right of screen. Therefore, the Wildcats are going to the left. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice um, tip by Rosa happening there. Jemison Power goes again and scores. So that's the first break. Get Darren Cougars have already broken one. On the drive again, Cougars into Jemison Power. Mid-range shot, she scores. 2-0, first 30 seconds of the match. Oh yeah, Jemison is a very exciting player to watch. There's a nice link between Janet and Rosa. Nice try there by Hannah. Janet and Rosa were fantastic in last week's uh, preliminary final. Oh yes, yes, they, they create a space and their timing and um, j just the them two knowing each other, know where they are, um, has been really good. That's the first goal for Wildcats. Um, Brody has just got that goal. Brody Boya scores the first goal for the Wildcats. Tonight, oh. your umpires, ANZ umpire Di Cocker and Lindsay Smith. Your reserve is Yvette Mackay Payne. Taking a look at the rest of this Cougars team, Paula, Bronte Oriole, what do we know about Bronte? Uh, Bronte um, has been Danny a Danny Park player for a while and she's um, come up through the academies and she made the 17 state team as well um, last year. So um, Bronte is up there with, with the best. Brody has scored there, uh, bringing the score to 3-2, uh, still in favour of the Cougars. <laughs> Lauren Todd scores. And takes him to 4-2, uh, two, two minutes into the grand final for 2011. Oh, nice move by Jenna Kiki and oh, beautiful feed. And oh, what a goal from Brody. Beautiful goal falling out of court. Wing defence, Jess Ritchie. Yeah, Jess Ritchie, yeah, yeah she was in the um, Brisbane North Academy a few years ago. Oh, beautiful intercept, sorry, Darren with uh, Nicole Theron. That's what I love about her. She's out there taking risks. Um, yeah, Jess Ritchie, um, she, she was in the... Um, down at uh, Brisbane North Academy and uh, she's always made state squads but um, probably hasn't cracked it as yet um, but she is one stable player and she's got beautiful elevation. Maddie McCall of turning it on there for the Wildcats. <laughs> we won't miss her tonight will we? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right Charlotte Goodman in playing goal defence. Yeah Charlotte Goodman um, was a state 17s player in 2011. Um, she actually got in last year as well but um, she injured her ankle before she went away and she um, couldn't travel. But she made it this year, and then she made the Australian TID squad as well. And uh, one thing that was great for Queensland, she was San Remo player of the tournament, which is absolutely fantastic. Cougars are back on the drive again. Ball going in long into, to attack. Lauren Todd shoots, scores 5-3. Hannah Johnson playing goalkeeper. Yes, Hannah Johnson, uh, she's the vice captain of the team. She was a, a former State 21s player. Um, she was playing in the HCC Cougars last year, but she did do an ACL um, in the final series. Um, and because the State League has started a bit later, um, for her to come back with the recovery of a knee, it was better for her to come in the State League. So she is a very experienced player out there. All right, captain Karen Logan for the Wildcats is about to line up for a relatively long range shot. Gets it into Brody Boyer. No, she gets a second go. And she scores, brings the score back to one goal being the margin. On the bench for the Cougars, we have uh, Genevieve Aislaup. Yeah, Genevieve was a uh, former State 21s and 17s player. Um, she's originally from Darling Downs, and it looks like in the Cougars team, the two country kids, they are tall. I don't know how, what they do in the country, but they do breed them big down, out, down they there. They tell me it's the water. They tell me the it's water? the water. Okay, yeah, it's there you the go. Water. Must be all the healthy water out there in the fresh air. All right, also on the bench uh, for the Cougars today, Katie O'Brien. Yes, Katie O'Brien, um, she's a former Jim Boomer Schweppes player. Um, she did actually fill in for Wildcats here and there in the um, State League last year. 
Uh, but uh, she has done the move and gone over to Cougars. So, and she's a very nice, exciting um, defensive player. Nice mid-range shot there for Lauren Todd. Takes a score out to uh, seven goals to four early in this 2011 Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. Nice intercept by Rosa there, Darren. That was beautiful. Final sub there, a Wazzy Toulis. Yeah, Wazzy, um, Wazzy's come through the Brisbane North Academy as well, so they're doing a good job out there. State 17's player in 2011, and she was the Australian invitee um, the TID as well. And uh, she's actually replacing um, an injured player, Rebecca White. It's actually Liz White's daughter. She's um, done her knee, and um, she's on the bench tonight um, doing stats for the Cougars. So she, she's there, still part of the team. This co-coach set up across the two grades with Amanda Vanderwall and Elizabeth White coaching the Cougars seems to work beautifully for them. Yeah, oh, yeah it has worked beautifully. I, I think it, I think they can do it either way. I mean, the past seven years, it's proved that they can um, do it singly or they can do it together. Um, Cougars is a very tight knit. They've always had the, the two teams actually um, working together all the time. So I don't think much has changed in their format. And Bronte Bayer scores for the Wildcats, taking the margin to just two goals. That's uh, Brody Bayer. I'm going to get Bronte and Brody mixed <laughs> up tonight, I think, Paula. It's uh, one of those nights. We've got uh, two teams out there with uh, very similar coloured uniforms. And uh, lots of girls with long, dark hair <laughs> and bobtails. <laughs> We might have to send a Mimo to Netball Queensland. They get their nose put on the back of their dresses oh, just to help I, I us out. I think that's a great idea. Nice <laughs> intercept by Mika. She's done a great job. Good back up by Nicole. Rosa to Keki. I mean, they just did that all last week and then nice into Brody. Nice take by Brody. I mean, Hannah was all over her, but there was a nice feed. Brody took that very nicely. That was the play that was a feature of last week's match, wasn't it? That it was, but I don't know if they can do it too often with Hannah Johnson there. She's, um, even though she's a little bit shorter than um, Brody, she, her anticipation elevation is beautiful. So I think they might have to have a look at some different moves in the, in the circle. Right, as mentioned earlier, the Cougars, the Kedron Wavell Services Club Cougars, co-coaches Amanda Vanderwall, championship winning coaches, we should point out to Elizabeth White, and the manager Sue called a primary carer, Jenny Peacock, team official Beck White, who is actually uh, an injured player. She's just undergone surgery recently for her knee, I believe, Paula? Beck White? Yes, she has. Um, yeah. It was around about, I think it was two weeks ago, so um, she was, came back from England and uh, she thought she'd just uh, get, give it a go again and start playing State League and she's done her knee. So I feel a bit sorry for Rebecca. Uh, she's one that absolutely loves her netball and it would have been nice to see her back on court. It's a cruelty of sport, isn't it? Getting injured before a grand final. Oh, yes, uh, it is. It's, uh, and, and with Beck, with her, um, just her experience and everything out on court would have helped. But, I mean, Cougars have shown all year, it uh, doesn't matter who's on court, they have been strong and undefeated all year. Right, scores are level seven all seven minutes to go in the first quarter. And now the Wildcats have clawed it back. And now it's eight goals to seven for the Wildcats. Yes, it's basically been goal for goal. I mean, Cougars making one mistake in that one and Wildcats at the start. So basically there's got to be no errors in this game. And they don't make a lot of them, do they, the Cougars? It's, it's a feature of the way they play netball. Um, certainly we've seen in the Holden Cruise Cup to beat a team like the Tigers when it counts, who are just so flair, they have so much flair and um, confidence in the game that they're able to do those one percenters and it carries down into the Queensland State Netball League tide as well. Oh, that's right. I mean, what Liz and Amanda do do very well, they, um, I mean, they've got some nice players out there on court, there's no denying that, but they make sure they do get the best out of their players. So um, looking at their strengths and weaknesses and they really work hard from it. I think we could be in for a beauty here tonight, Paula. Eight all, six minutes to go first quarter. It's like this all night. Could be a long one. Yeah, oh, that's right. I, mean, I was hoping for a nice close match. Oh, nice intercept there by Lauren Todd. And it's a nice hold and strong pull in by Jamison as she finishes it off. Beautiful combination there from the shooters. And Bronte Oriole just picking them off. That's right. Yes. A call against Jemison pushing off her player. All right, turnover. 
Wildcats back on the drive from defence. I really Going like long. the Wildcats' young wing defence there. She's only quite young, so I think she's still only 16, 17 soon, and she's bringing the court, ball down the court very nicely. Bit of an unknown player, Darren, but I reckon, yeah, she's, this, we're going to be, I want to look at her in the next few years. I want to... I'm really going to be looking at Brodie Bowyer as well. I mean, she's a state 17s player last year, which means she's, what, 17, 18 now? And look at look at her height already. Yeah, She'd she, still have some growing to do, wouldn't she? Yeah, she's 18 now, so she missed out on the 19s this year. A uh, beautiful intercept by Hannah. That was lovely. The feed probably wasn't too great. Was on, what, uh, Brodie was holding quite nicely, and it could have been over a little bit, but it's still a beautiful intercept. That was nice play by Cougars going down, down the court. You know, it's been so go, go, go getting, getting started and the match is back and forth at the moment, one goal either way, that we haven't had a chance to talk about the people and organisations that actually make all this happen. Our sponsors, ball sponsor, Gilbert, Kedron Wavell Services Club, the Logan City Council, who support the Logan Wildcats. The Carina Leagues Club, who also support the East Tigers. Yellow Cl Cabs, who are the supporters of the Lions. And McDonald's, who support the Magnetic North Steel Cats. Without sponsors, we don't have a sport. Oh, that's right. And it's so good to see with Kedrum Avel's, K Kedrum Avel Club, uh, they've been with Cougars right from day one. So they have stuck with their team and I tell you now, Cougars have not let them down. Look, they're a major organisation, aren't they? Everyone knows the Kedron Wavell Services Club and uh, one of those major, major organisations. Uh, social outlet, they put money into the community. And it's great also to see the Logan City Council getting behind a local team. Oh, a it level. is so great. The Logan City Council came in uh, probably halfway through the state league season and, um, and that's great support, for, especially around the community in the area. And of course, we're at their venue, That's the Logan right. Metro Indoor yes. Sports Centre. So we've got a pretty good crowd tonight too. So the local crowds come in tonight. We have. We've also got um, players and supporters from the Holden Cruz Cup team to the Cougars and the Wildcats in the stands as well, because there will be um, announcements of most valuable players and everything at the end of this match as well for the comp shoot competitions, the Holden Cruz Cup and also the Queensland State Netball League. One of your players, Jade Fiscalini, um, an absolute rock in defence, is up for that award as well. Yes, uh, she is up for that award. I mean, Jade, Jade had a very good season. Um, there's. It's, it's tough competition though in the um, HCC um, nominations, so there's some beautiful players that are in there, so I would say it's anyone's game on who can win that one. Well tonight, Jade Fiscalini from the Golden South Jaguars isn't alone, Monique French from the Yellow Cabs Lions, Selena Hirsch from the Logan Wildcats, Lara Nilsson from the Kedron Wave and Services Club Cougars and Katie Walker. Katie Walker from the Karina Leagues Club Tigers. Um, great to see. It really oh, is. It is. You I mean, love Katie. I, I've always <laughs> loved Katie, so that's that's one thing. Um, and Katie, she just seems to get better and better each year. I just don't know when that girl is going to slow down. So. But she's such a great lady, and I just love watching her play. You go back to the Firebirds days. She was that that go-getter in defence. Everyone knew that she was probably the fittest player in netball and probably go close to still being that, even at this level. Oh, yes. I, I reckon she'd be close to it as well. Mm. So, I mean, I think in the HCC competition, she's definitely the fittest player. Yep. And I reckon she could give some of the Firebirds a run for their money as well. So well, um, that's, oh. that, that's only what I think. But, um, yeah, she's very, very fit. Well, you're not Robinson Crusoe. I think there's a lot of people that feel the same <laughs> way. All will be revealed um, at the end of the match. As far as the Queensland State Netball League is concerned, the match, the grand final you're watching at the moment, as Bronte Bayer scores another one for the Wildcats and uh, brings that margin back to, should be two goals, should be 12-10. There with uh, one minute 30 left to go on the clock in the first quarter of the 2011 Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. We'll take a look at the nominees shortly. That's 12-11 12, 12, now. Cougars are up by one with their centre pass. Nice tip by Mika that the ball goes out. They swung it to the top very nicely. Lauren Todd gets another another go. Oh, big three feet on that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Di Cocker, we can hear her there, uh, probably on the effects <laughs> mics. Uh, what an umpire. She has had a stellar two years, hasn't she? Oh, I love Di. Uh, yeah, Di is one of the best umpires. In my, again, my opinion again, I think she is the best umpire that we've got in Queensland. And um, hopefully she'll get a bit more of a run in the uh, ANL competition too, because I think she deserves it. I'd like to see her have a bit more of a run in the ANZ as We'd well. We'd love it. We'd love to see yeah. her. Um, yeah, Di's been around for a while. All right, it's currently 13-11 uh, to the Cougars. First quarter in the uh, Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. We'll be back shortly. That went really quick. 